as you can see, I've got collage papers all over the floor. I've been prepping a bunch of paper because, well, I'm going to do another collage. This is the mess which happens whilst I collage. I have to put up a big sheet of paper so I don't get splatters everywhere, although I need to clean that off and it's... It's all there. You might be able to guess from the colours of all the things that I've painted, um, but I'm going to do a seaside beachy scene inspired by the holiday I've just come back from. So all the colours hopefully that I'll need are here, plus I have like every colour under the sun in my, um, I have a big folder full of paper there and a slightly smaller folder full of paper behind uh, that pencil case. Hello, I'm going to be doing a voiceover this, for this little bit of the video, or you can see me doing doing a collage. This video is kind of like a continuation of the last video I made, where I got, let me start the story from the beginning, if you case you haven't seen that. Quite a few weeks ago, months ago now, at this point, Canon reached out to me asking if I was interested in testing out a printer, and of course, I jumped at the opportunity and I did a first reaction sort of video to the printer where I went through a lot more information about it and I'll link that below if you're interested. But the printer is a Canon Pixma Pro and the reason I was so excited about getting it was because I have my own shop, I sell prints of my work. The thought of having my own print and being able to make the prints myself instead of outsourcing was really exciting. So this video, I'm making art to turn into print, so that's what this is. Just to quickly summarise that last video in a nutshell, my opinions on the printer are it makes incredibly nice prints. I was very surprised, I mean, I wasn't surprised because I knew it would be good, but I was didn't realise how good it would be. So that was kind of my main takeaway is, wow, this quality stuff. I want to start trying to make prints myself because um, for the past, I mean, I've had an Etsy shop now for, I don't know, probably about three years. And all that time I've been outsourcing my prints. There's just things that making the prints yourself offer that outsourcing doesn't. So I thought I'd go through like a little pros and cons list of all the things I can think of, of whether it's best to outsource or to make them yourself. Yourself. And there's no like a definitive answer, I guess it just depends on what your personal preference is, but these are all the things I could come up with, so let me go through them. Uh, I'm going to start with the cons because it's nice to finish on a high. The main con which I can come up with is the time it takes to make the prints. Obviously it's going to take you a lot more time to make the prints yourself than it is to order them. You know, when you outsource prints, you just you send off for them and then Three weeks later they turn up at your door but with making prints yourself you have to obviously set aside that time to do it it's not like it's a particularly hard task to do i i kind of find it quite relaxing to just turn my brain off and print things so that's that's first con and then the only other one i could come up with really was you have to buy the printer there's the initial cost of buying the printer and buying the paper and buying the inks luckily i'm in a very fortunate position and i'm very grateful for this that i got sent the printer um, so i am in a very lucky position there but obviously you have to invest in the printer and it's going to take well depending on how often you sell a print it might take a while for you to start making a profit because you have to earn money to pay back for the printer before you can start making a profit it's a chunk of money to start with over time you know it'll pay for itself so those are the cons I could come up with. Moving on to the pros. I think the thing which I'm most excited about is like the freedom it offers. There's no wait times. You make the art, you can print it within the same day if you want to. So if you wanted to just put a print it in your shop without having to wait, you can just do that, which is nice. And also you'll never run out of prints. I mean, as long as you have paper and ink, you'll never be low on stock like there are times where in the past where i've ran out of a print and i've had like quite a few messages of people saying oh is this when will this be back in stock i'd quite like to buy this print and it's like oh sorry um i'm not planning on you know on doing a restock until a few weeks away and then you kind of lose a customer then so another pro is you have more control over how the print looks so when i send off for my prints in the past uh, you know it's kind of a guessing game you edit it as much as you can to look exactly how you want it to but at the end of the day the print might look different on their computer screen it will look different on every printer and there have been a few times in the past where I've I've got prints back and I'm like disappointed because it's like oh that's much darker than I wanted it to be but obviously I still want to sell because I need to make a profit anyway so there's all that hassle that comes with that comes with outsourcing that if I went making them myself, I can make it look exactly how I want it to look. So I can print it off, 
you know, I can see, oh, actually, let me just tweak this a little bit, and then the next print is like perfect. Another pro is it means you can put more things in your shop without having to worry about how popular it will be. There are times where I make stuff which I really like, and I'd love to turn into a print, but I know, you know, I, I put my business hat on and I think, is this, does this have mass appeal? But then if it's anything that kind of slightly veers away from that, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if this is gonna sell. But with this, I can put the things that I love still on my shop even if I, I don't really know if it'll be popular or not because I only have to print what sells. And then the final one that I can come up with is you can make prints at any size. This printer prints A3 plus so it prints a little bit bigger than A3. In the future I would love to start selling A3 prints. At the moment I'm not because I don't really know how to package an A3 print. I think you have to start buying tubes and I don't know how much tubes cost, so I, but I do want to start selling A3 prints and with this printer, it gives me the freedom to do that. Also gives me the freedom to offer things in different sizes. Do you want this A5, A6, do you want it A4? Like I can do it all. I'm sure there is a lot more pros and cons. I fought real hard and that's all I can come up with. And price-wise, I was trying to figure out, you know, if I could come here and say it's cheaper to make prints yourself, um, but I, it's kind of really hard to say because I don't know where you're ordering prints from. From, how many, it really depends on how many prints you order but from the research I've done I'd say it's basically near enough the same price that's just from my experience of where I get my prints made so I can't give you a very accurate answer there because it's just hard to say that that's my list make of that what you will I personally think it's nicer to make prints myself because I am a perfectionist I like them to look exactly how I want them to look and I can make stuff straight away without having the wait times <sighs> There you go, that's my summary. I hope this has been helpful if anyone's been thinking about it. There are pros and cons on each side. I personally think at the moment, I, I, I me, me, myself right now, I'm more excited to make the prints myself than to outsource. That's the route I'm gonna go down at the moment. I'm gonna make the prints myself for this next shop update. So I'll keep you guys in the loop and let you know how it goes. Um, but that's all I have to say for now. So you've just seen me working on the washi tape design. I've been wanting to do washi tape for a while and I think it's, I don't know, finally built up the courage to, to do some washi tape. Um, so I put together this design using, I made all these ages ago for another project I was working on. So I have all these uh, collages that I did and I've been wanting to do something with them and I just think they'd be perfect for tape. So I arranged them all on Photoshop this took ages because there's a lot of just little individual bits that I've just placed. The lines at the edges were just there to help me see where the edges of it were but obviously they're not going to be printed on the actual thing. This is how the pattern will repeat. Pretty seamless if I zoom out you can't really tell where it joins. That's the design and then I've just printed it out the actual size that it will be. It's pretty bang on the size because I just wanted to see it at the right scale and you know what I think it's pretty perfect. I was gonna maybe adjust it because I was worried it might be a little bit too busy for how small it is, but actually seeing it printed off, I think it looks pretty cute. I've just printed this using printer paper so it won't be the best quality, uh, but still, I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna send off for this today. I don't know how long it will take to be made, probably a fair few weeks, I imagine around a month to get made. Hopefully people are interested in it because I, I love tape, washi tape. I use it all the time for packing my orders, so I wanted to do my own. So I have spent the past few days editing all of my art so it's ready to be printed. I have this print, I'll pop them up on screen as well because it'll look nicer. Um, this is like a little secret garden, some wildflowers, I showed the process of me doing these a few videos ago if you're interested. This is a piece of art I made quite a while ago now for my 
um, my bulk hotel project that I did for uni and this is a piece of art which comes with that but I really like it so I'm going to turn it into a print. It's a little bit rogue this print, I know it's probably not to everyone's taste but I really like it because it's obviously a lot more abstracty than my usual collages and also it's quite thin and there's a lot of gaps at the top and bottom but I don't really think that's too much of an issue. This I think is so cute. I'm also going to do another piece of art with these mice for the shop update but I just haven't got around to making it yet because when I look at my list of prints I want to make I've done all of them except this one here the mouse parade which I plan on making in the next couple weeks it's basically going to be this idea but times 100. <laughs> I made this piece of art ages ago but it's such a niche sort of thing like it's an evil frog um how many people want a color like a painting of an evil frog not that many so i never made it into a print i didn't want to spend a bunch of money on prints that no one was going to buy um, but now with this new printer i can print whatever i want and i only have to you know print it when it sells so it's very risk free and then i have this set of free i made this art ages ago for my bug hotel project and I'm going to do these as a set of free postcards because they just match perfectly. I actually have them here. This actually took me ages to get these edited to look as close to the originals. For some reason I was just really struggling to capture how they looked in real life on the screen. Like sometimes it happens really easily and other times it's just you just spend hours just tweaking colours until you get it perfect. I'm going to turn this one into a print which is a little bit Thin. I'll show you the um, the real piece. Uh, this is my drawer filled with tiny bits of art. Well, there you can see the original mouse that I did. I love this thing. They're so cute. This piece obviously is very long and thin, um, but I really like it. So I played around with the idea of maybe maybe adding um, you know adding a bit of extra collage on the sides sides so it would be so it would fit like an A5 sheet of paper. But in the end, I've just decided. It can just be a slightly thinner print, so I don't really think it's too much of an issue. So those are all the new prints, um, and also there's going to be an extra one, which is going to be like the mouse parade, so like this, but much bigger and a lot more mice and a lot more plants. I am going to get to printing all this stuff off now. Okay, so I'm just doing a bit of printing. I've done my first test print. I'm just sat on the floor at the moment. It might not be the best lighting, so it might be a little bit grainy. You just saw me trimming all the paper. Um, luckily, I didn't trim too much because I've just, basically I've learned from this is that you should print first and then trim instead of cutting the paper and then printing. On here, this is professional print and layout. It's just a soft, like a free software, which um, you can use with the printer. And it has all the paper options preset into here, which are set. On the printer so you can basically so the print settings on the printer can match the print settings on the laptop i realized there wasn't an a6 size option on here you can see all the sizes and there wasn't an a6 size so i added in my own custom size and um, which you can easily do here but i realized that you can only print the custom sizes on specific papers and the paper i'm using you couldn't print the custom size on so i thought really how much does it matter i'll just print saying it's plain paper um surely it won't make that much of a difference and it really does make a difference so this is what i printed using a plain paper setting it came out i thought oh it looks cute but you know what the contrast isn't what i'd want it to be and it's a tiny bit fuzzy so i thought maybe it's to do with the printer settings so then i printed it again using like the actual printer settings that i should have been using and you can just tell like straight away let me show you how much better the quality is so this is when i use the plain paper setting and it, it's cute but it's a little bit fuzzy and there's not enough contrast um and then i tried again i mean you can tell i don't know if you can tell on camera but let's compare that face to that face it's just a lot more crisp and the colors are much more accurate so what i've learned from this is the print settings actually do matter and print first and then trim because it's just easier in the long run anyway I'm going to carry on printing. Now I know that piece of information.
So here's a final roundup of all the prints I made as well as some prints I made in the last video. I'd love to know you guys opinion on what's your favourite print because it will give me a better idea of how many to make of each so that would be really helpful if you can let me know in the comments. Also a final thank you to Canon for sending me all this stuff, I'm really grateful for it, you know honoured as well that they would want to send it to me. So for the final time it's the Canon Pixma Pro 200, couldn't be more happier with the printer and I'm really excited about what it means for my shop. It has revolutionised my little small business. I will link all of the information in the description about the printer. The paper I'm also using for this entire shop update, like I've gone and bought a bunch more paper, is the Canon Photo Paper Pro Premium Matte. It's really high quality, the prints look amazing and it's you know pretty reasonably priced as well. So I think it's a, it's a good option. That's all I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make some art getting prints ready for the shop update. It won't be for a while now, but it's definitely looming on the horizon if you'd like to get some, any bits and bobs from my shop that is coming up. The next video you'll see from me will probably be a roundup of all the work I made at uni this year, so hopefully that's something you're interested in. And yeah, I'll see you soon.